sure if what I'm doing is a uh, review really or just a uh, kind of showing you something I just bought um, so uh, yeah I'm just gonna get right into it this is gonna be a short video so let's go all right so what we have out here today is a dime bag bag now you might wonder why someone like me would have such a thing uh, I just realized, or I just recently um, discovered these and thought I might have some use for them in one of my EDC bags, so I just bought it still. Tell it's got the tags still on it, so um, for those of you that don't know, a dime bag bag is a brand that basically caters to cannabis users that need a place to put their glass in here so they can travel without it breaking. I figured that something like that might be useful for me. I carry some things that are kind of fragile and uh, just see if they work. Now I don't have them with me, I'm not going to test it, but I'm just basically going to go over this and show you how it might work for you. Alright, so getting over to this thing here, I got a few things that I have of mine that I'll show you. So upon uh, when you first open it, you notice you have this uh, scent free bag. I guess this is for like aspirin or something and you don't want anyone to smell it. Who knows what this could be for. Um, I probably should have looked up what this material is made out of. This is really like thick uh, material in here. Obviously it's designed to prevent uh, glass from breaking. So what I have is uh, I thought these little pockets in here might be good for... Ah, uh, oh, hang on, I gotta put the camera down. Can't do this with one hand. All right, so basically have one of these little mini aspirin bottles. Uh, fits perfectly in uh, this little bag right here, this little pouch area right here. And then there's a second one over here too. And then uh, I have an Altoids can, which got, by the way, very difficult to get stuff in and out of these pockets. Um, there's an Altoids tin full of some bits that uh, fit in here. It also is a little bit better at like noise reduction. So if you have like a bag, like a Maxpedition pouch or something, and you put a bunch of stuff in there, like Altoids tins with uh, drill bits or something like that, and you shake it up, it's like, extremely obnoxious. This is a little bit better with uh, noise reduction in that regard. So that's probably one, uh, one benefit to something like this. Uh, but I haven't even gotten into all of this stuff here. So you got another little pouch over here and uh, oh there's something in here what is this what uh, uh. dime bags all right let's start the fourth amendment of the united states constitution ratified december 15th 1791 the right of the people to be secure in their persons, houses, papers, and effects against unreasonable searches and seizures shall not be violated, and no warrant shall issue but upon probable cause supported by oath or affirmation, particularly describing the place to be searched and the persons or things to be seized. Wow. America. That's pretty cool. Very patriotic company. You can tell they really, really are passionate about obeying the law and whatnot <laughs> so again i do understand this is a very non-traditional form of a edc type bag it's not really what it's designed for but i do figure that if you are carrying multiple packs um one of these type bags could be uh, of interest for you i know that a lot of edc guys don't know what these are because i didn't know what this was until just a couple weeks ago and i just decided to see what it was about it didn't cost much I think this one cost me about 20 bucks 
So I figured why not? I got a million bags and pouches and everything else. I figured see what this one is all about. So again, that's just here for a kind of size to see what you can kind of fit in there. Obviously we know what the smell pouch, smell proof pouch is for, but we don't have any of that stuff in there, right guys? No, no, not at all, not us. And you got uh, this little pouch in here too. Fit your, uh, fit your zigzags right in there. <laughs> Alright guys, well, I'm going to get back to uh, finishing this up. But I just wanted to post a quick video. Thought this might be useful to some of you guys. Uh, you know, it is kind of cool. It is different. So, anyways guys, until next time.